good morning you guys we are back my new mila the air purifier that i got for christmas is going in the background so i'm just gonna leave it and see how loud it is so that i know in the future if i need to turn that off when i'm filming or not <laughs> so sorry if it's a little loud we're home we're back we're in toronto i've actually been back for two days now and i have had two really <laughs> relaxed days i have a lot to do i have work to do that i've been avoiding literally mostly for the last two days just been reading my book um <laughs> i've read like 600 pages of this book in like three days so i am not letting myself even look at that <laughs> today until i have accomplished some things my hair is wild and crazy i'm getting my hair done today i'm getting it cut it desperately needs a haircut i really needed to do like a pretty solid chop on it the last time i went in which was in september right before sabrina's wedding and because my own wedding was coming up three weeks after that i didn't want to do it then because i kind of wanted my hair to be as long as possible for the wedding and so she did just like a really minimal chop and now it has just gotten to the point where it needs it it's so just like dry and ratty on the ends it takes me so long to wash because there's just so much of it so here's a little before and i'm gonna go get it cut and i'm gonna just let her take off whatever she thinks needs to come off i feel like it's gonna be like like very short so we'll see we'll see what happens but before I do that I'm attempting to go to the gym I haven't been to the gym since Mexico I went a couple times when we were in Mexico but the week we got back I didn't go and then last week in Vancouver I didn't go we were just like going for walks going back to the gym today you guys I'm forcing myself to go it's so like I really want to go like I feel like once I get there I'm gonna really enjoy myself but like the actual act of getting myself there right now is feeling like a real struggle but anyways I hate when I'm editing and I talk too much at the beginning of the video so welcome welcome to a new video and uh, let's get this day started all right so I procrastinated just a little bit just a little bit by doing productive things though cleaning cleaning up the house a little bit <laughs> the time has come we're gonna go I actually feel like so ready. My body is just like dying, dying for a workout. So let's go get it done. Feeling like I should, I'm all good, I'm all good. Back from the gym, that was so necessary. I get like so into my own head sometimes and like I've been wanting to do that. The last two days since I've been home from Vancouver, I've been wanting to do that and then for some reason like talking myself out of it. And like convincing myself to stay home and read my book instead and like I just really needed to go I feel so good I was listening to the new loud luxury album let me show you guys if you're the same age as me um, you're gonna want to listen to this if you like house music like big room 2016 style house music uh, there are some bangers on here. This is the album songs you've been asking for There it's all remixes and the first half of the album. I feel like is a little bit more like modern Big room house music, which isn't as popular now, but as you get to the end there are some like sick retro <laughs> remixes and like by retro i mean like early 2000s slash like 90s there's a jump and jump and remix there is a hide and seek remix image and heap okay so get on it i literally felt like i wanted to like stand up in the middle of my workout and just like fist pump like <laughs> like i was at the club when i wanted to just like get all my energy out it's 12 40 my hair's in an hour it's only like a five minute walk from my house i'm going to jump in the shower i still haven't eaten anything today i was just really feeling that workout on an empty stomach 
and I'm never hungry like directly after I work out but I feel like if I get in the shower and then pop out my hunger will work itself up so let me do that I'm still not hungry so this lighting is very weird hold on that's better still not hungry so I figure I'll get ready and then eat and then go Gotcha. <laughs> Alrighty. You feel this massive, massive zip coming on right here. Like, I don't really get them like this. You can't really see much yet, so I'm hoping to make that go away before it comes to the surface. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of my Peace Out Acne Serum, which I feel like I'm finally actually running out of after over a year of using it. It's been very good to me. If you guys saw my favorites video, I talked about this in that video. I'm going to attempt to get ready right now without using anything that I packed for my trip because I still haven't unpacked my bag. I'm gonna do that when I get home today and like put in laundry and stuff. I'm quite sure I'll be able to do my makeup without having to open up my suitcase to pull out what I packed. The only thing is my brushes. All my brushes are in there, but let's see how we do. We'll make it a little challenge. All right, so that was my dew drops. And then let's go over top of that with some magic cream. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling like wearing foundation, which I haven't done in <laughs> ages so i'm gonna go in with the lancome tint miracle i don't want too much though so i'm just gonna start with one pump and just do really light coverage and my sponge is in my bag so i'm gonna blend this in with a brush my mom and i did face masks in vancouver and she had two she had a pore clarifying one from glam glow and then a hydrating one and so I did them both at the same time. I did the pour one here, and then I did the hydrating one on the rest of my face. And my skin is so dry just in the areas where I put the Glam Glow one, and the rest of my face is so moisturized. So I wish I had done them separately. But I thought I was being smart doing both of them at the same time at the time. I was not. All right, so I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer here. So this is what we're going to use to conceal. And again, I don't have my sponge. So I'm going to use this little backside of this Charlotte Tilbury brush to butt this in. Actually, I'm going to use my fingers because uh, it's going to be quicker than using this brush. Oh my god, this is making my arm sore from all the tapping after my workout. <laughs> wow, okay, I feel like that foundation and that concealer look so good together. My skin's looking so juicy. Okay, excellent. Um, it's gonna need a little bit of powder, so I'm gonna use my Hourglass Veil powder. And do I have a brush that I can use this with? Not really, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush <laughs> to... Just set a few areas. I'm loving how like dewy and juicy things are here. So I want to use some more cream base products just to kind of keep that happening. So I'm going to go with some cream bronzer. <sighs> bronzer is everything. It gives your face so much shape. I live for it. Okay. Let's do some cream blush. I'm just grabbing the first one that I see here. This is Cheeky from Merit. And I think I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand first. Look at that color, it's so beautiful. And then onto the brush, and then onto my face. Oh, I love this blush. I had received a couple of these from Merit in PR. So I gave one to my mom, and when I just saw her last week, she was saying she really loved hers too, so. This is a good one to get if you're looking for a cream blush option. I'll link it down below. So pretty. I think I'm gonna skip highlight. Who am I? <laughs> and uh, just do my brows. So I don't have any of my regular brow stuff. But honestly, you guys, I've been looking back at old pictures and videos lately and seeing my brows just a little bit more like groomed and defined with a pencil from back in the day. I really like the look of them. So I feel like I'm slowly gonna start transitioning out of my just using brow gel phase, which I've been in for the last year. I really need to get my brows done as well, actually. Maybe that'll be my next appointment. 
Okay, so I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with my makeup. I am gonna just pull my hair down here. It's always so embarrassing to like walk in and be like, here's my hair, like do something with it. Uh, but there's just no point in using heat on it when I'm about to go get it done. So air dried it is, <laughs> but I am just gonna do a nice little low bun instead so that it's at least a little bit more put together and voila we're ready to go to the hair salon my stomach literally just growled so it's time to eat i think i'm just gonna make myself some peanut butter toast and then it'll be time to head out i forgot to take clips while i was in the salon but we're back baby and here we are here's the end okay I can't remember how long it was, but I feel like we were like down to here with the little wispy bits. So we took off a really good amount. Um, it still feels really long to me. <laughs> like it amazes me how good she is at cutting the length, <laughs> but still leaving it. I can't explain it. She takes off so much hair, but still my hair feels long and it just feels so thick and healthy. And I love the way that she shapes my hair and cuts in the layers and everything. I'm obsessed with my haircuts. I see McKenna at Baz and Banks in Liberty Village, if anybody's in Toronto and is looking for a great haircut. I spent years going around the city trying different people uh, for haircuts and McKenna is the best that I have found. The combination of McKenna doing my haircuts and Alicia doing my color literally is everything to me <laughs> but yeah there we go there is the new hair so i'm having a good day it's three o'clock already i need to edit tomorrow's wednesday i need a video to put up and i have so much stuff filmed but not edited however the hunger is kicking in so so i'm gonna make myself some spicy noodle soup <laughs> this I can never find, they never have this in stock. This is the Soon veggie noodles. These are Korean super spicy instant noodles. They're so good, but I can never find them. And I found them when I was at the grocery store last night buying peanut butter. So I'm excited to eat that. I have not been feeding myself very well since Will's been away. I don't know if I mentioned it. He's been at the cottage. Um, he picked me up from the airport on Saturday when I got home and then he left Sunday morning to go to the cottage with his dad and his cousin. So this is the most time the two of us have spent apart like between his ski trip my trip to vancouver and then this trip to the cottage this is probably the most time we've spent apart since we did long distance i honestly can't think of a time where we spent this much time apart but um i don't feed myself very well when he's gone i feel like when he's here i i do a lot of cooking for both of us and i cook lots of like healthy nutritious delicious meals and then when he leaves i hardly eat i barely feed myself and when i do eat there's not a lot of nutrition so i did pick up some broccoli when i was at the store yesterday so i'm gonna boil some broccoli have some noodle soup and then edit <laughs> day i ended up editing until like 6 30 last night and then will came home so we just had dinner and hung out he had his meeting i read my book it was very chill evening it is a new day i'm wearing my new cargo pants that i got in vancouver and i'm on my way to go meet jackie and little nova for coffee this morning <laughs> many hours since I've seen you last. I went for my coffee with Jackie. I was there with her for ages actually and came home, had lunch, and then spent the afternoon working on our wedding thank you cards which 
are overdue. We were waiting for our photos to come in and then those came in at the end of December. And so we're finally getting around to it. I worked on that for a couple of hours today, got into a good place with it. Hopefully we can get it all wrapped up in the next couple of days, but uh, it is Will's birthday Eve today. His birthday is tomorrow and his dad got us all tickets to this like Italian food making class. So the four of us are gonna go and do that tonight. It is a literal blizzarding snowstorm outside right now and all I wanna do is like stay home and snuggle but it's gonna be a good time and it'll be fun to celebrate Will a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more makeup. I did my makeup today exactly the same way I did it yesterday because I hadn't pulled my, my makeup back out of my uh, suitcase yet, but I have now, I have it here and I have my brushes as well. So my base needs a little bit of a touch up. Look at my sad little beauty blender. Let me go dampen it okay here we go so my concealer is creasing quite a bit underneath my eyes because i wasn't really able to set it properly and then once i have the creases kind of blended back in set my under eyes properly with my regular powder and my regular brush oh, my skin like right here is super dry i need to do a hydrating mask and really pump it full of some moisture good thing i got one at winters when i was in vancouver i should do that my pressed powder made it through my trip which is very exciting i'm drinking a sour beer i have this like vision for my eye makeup i just want to do something like simple but kind of like sparkly and special and fun so i'm gonna start with i just want like a brown color just take one from the Natasha Denona bronze palette here. I'm going to put that all over my lid. I did not put down a eyeshadow primer because I kind of want it to be a little bit more sheer in a way. Like I kind of want the oils from my eyelid to, to come through because I'm going to put down like a super glittery sparkly shade. And if the oil comes through from underneath that, it's just going to add to the overall vibe so i'm gonna just take this brown color all over my lid and then along my lower lash line as well and then just give that a good blend on the edges and then i have this little single eyeshadow from annabelle this is in the color lithium i love this look at that it's so reflective and beautiful it's kind of like a creamy glittery shadow so i find it works best applied with the fingers and i'm just gonna tap that on right on top all over the lid and then i'm gonna take this this is gray actually i want black where's my black eyeliner i'm gonna take my little black pencil eyeliner here and just run that really roughly across my lash line. Then blend it out with my little shader brush. And then use that to also create a wing. And then same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna take a black shadow and go over that to intensify it. I'm just debating whether I should run that along my lower lash line as well. I'm thinking probably not because just like it's nothing like fancy that or like I don't know. I just don't want to overdo it. So now I'm going to do a few coats of mascara. I haven't been wearing mascara at all lately. It has just always been my least favorite part of makeup so for my base i just used cream uh, bronzer and cream blush earlier today so i'm just gonna go over top of those with a little bit of powder product just to intensify it a little bit and just kind of bring it back because creams can kind of fade more quickly throughout the day so i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury nude gasm palette for my bronzer and actually, my mom was asking me where to apply bronzer. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. Um, 
this will kind of change depending on your face shape but a really good place to start is just by doing a big number three around the edges of your face so i'm going to start at my temple applying in circular motions and then I'm going to bring it down onto my cheekbone. So I'm kind of running it like along my cheekbone here. It's going to blend a little bit under and a little bit over my cheekbone. And then you can come right down here and go underneath the jaw as well. So that's your big number three. And so that's a really good place to start to just add some structure and definition to the face and give more of that bronzed sun kiss type of look hopefully that's helpful and then as you start to use it more um you'll kind of you can start to like play around with your placement and figure out what looks best for you but that's always a good starting point when you're first learning okay and then i think what i'll actually do as well is just mix these two highlighters together in here and add those to the tops of my cheekbone and then i want a little bit more blush and i really loved the way that this merit one has been looking so i think i'm going to stick with the cream and just add a little bit more so i'm going to put that on top of my hand here and then onto the face that everything and that will be my makeup of the night so I'm just gonna leave my hair it's still curled from getting it done yesterday and then I'm gonna change my top because this is a little bit casual a little bit and then uh, probably just like throw in a pair of earrings and then we're good to go we're gonna attempt to take the bus because of the blizzard I feel like uber I don't know in my opinion i feel like the bus is just gonna get us there like more effectively than an uber will but will feels the opposite so we'll see what we end up doing but it's gonna be a mission either way <laughs> Saturday today. I haven't vlogged for a couple of days. The last time I saw you, we were out celebrating Will's birthday with his parents, and the next day was Will's birthday, so me and Will just celebrated him that day. I was meaning to vlog all day with you guys to kind of finish off this video today, but I tried to turn my camera on this morning and it won't record. I'm so sad, everything's working except the record button <laughs> to film videos won't work. So I have just been troubleshooting it a little bit and it's like very frustrating. I'm like quite upset about the fact that it's not working. Um, but I kind of need to move on with my day and I've been wanting to unpackage this with you guys. So I'm filming on my iPhone, which is not a long-term solution to the camera not working, but will work for now. So I placed an order from Stylevana. If you guys remember, they actually sent me some skincare last year. And a lot of it I didn't love or think was anything special. However, there was one product that really stood out to me and I finished it a couple of months ago and really have been wishing for it back in my skincare routine. So I ended up picking it up. I never know how to say this brand properly. Is tree, ish tree. This is the Spot Saver Mugwort Ampoule. I love this as a step one in my skincare routine. I feel like it makes my skin feel so healthy. Mugwort is a new, new-ish, I think, skincare ingredient that is coming out in a lot of Korean skincare at the moment. So it's supposed to really help with inflammation, keeping your skin clear. So yeah, I really, really like this. It's super lightweight. It's a good like first step in your skincare routine. 
And while I was on that website, I picked up a couple of other things as well. I used my own discount code, which I thought was kind of funny. So I, it still works. I've tested it. If anybody wants to pick anything up, I'll put the discount code in the description box down below. But I ran out of my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. And so I figured I would try something different. I've been using that nonstop for literally years at this point and i was just feeling like trying something new even though every time i try something new i never like it as much but you never know these are all sealed and i can't get into any of them with my nails um so this is also from ish ish tree is tree it is the yam root vegan milk cleanser ph 5.5 mild cleansing rich and creamy texture protects skin barrier so I thought I would just give that a try since I really liked this product from this brand so much. And then the last thing I got, this is so small. Oh my God, no wonder it was so affordable. <laughs> um, this is a little retinol. So this is from the brand Bellflower. It's a 0.3% retinol serum. So I guess because it's a serum, the size is actually pretty average. Um, really simple, kind of cheap packaging, but it had good reviews, so I thought I would give this a go as well. So some new skincare to try out, which I'm gonna use it all now as I get ready for the evening. It's Will's birthday party today, so we're having his friends over to have a little pre-party here at our apartment tonight, and then we're gonna go to an arcade bar on college. It's called Free arcade bar did i say that properly we're gonna go to an arcade bar on college it's called free play which we've never been to before but they have a dj tonight and yeah hopefully it's a good time so vlogging on my phone is not super practical however i will try to vlog a little bit of our evening and put those clips in at the end here um but yeah i'm gonna be trying out these two new skincare products I'll keep you guys updated and I'm so excited to have this one back in my skincare routine. I just, yeah, I just loved what it did for my skin and how nice it felt. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the party.